Good morning, Colorado. Welcome to Tuesday edition of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Hurst. Today in studio, we have the legendary sausage maker, Polidori Sausage, Caroline and Steve. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Give us, I mean, it's a hell of a history. Give us the history of Polidori. Well, we were started in 1925 out of a grocery store in North Denver by my great-grandmother, Anna Polidori. Right. And she started making sausage out of there and they had a wholesale meat in the back. They actually sold a grocery, actually restaurants around town, out of the back of the grocery store. I'm guessing it was a little different world back then. Oh yeah, a lot yeah. different. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have COVID back then. <laughs> no <laughs> internet, horse and buggy they were delivering sausage. But pretty much, oh, yeah. the, old, the old wagons that they used to do it in, I mean they're motorized and everything, but yeah. And then my grandfather took it over after the war when my great, uh, great grandfather passed away. Uh, him and his brother took it over. He did the meat side, my great, great uncle did the uh, grocery side. So, and then basically I started working for my grandfather in 2000 or no, 1991, helping him out when I was in college. Right. And when you originally started, it was just, it was started was just, with Italian, not you, oh, but yeah. the business was Pretty founded on Italian, Italian sausage. They had a German sausage, you know, okay. stuff that, you know, because that whole area was pretty diversified with people, so they had some German sausages and some other stuff. But for the most part, it was Italian sausage. I'm guessing just like two employees back then. Well, well, back when I started with my grandfather, it was just two employees. It was more Even of a hobby. It was a hobby. They sold the grocery store in 1982, and he started this business as a hobby, and then it just started taking off. And now, how many products do you have? Ooh. Oh gosh, we make about <laughs> we make about 60 different varieties. Um, there's about 10 to 12 flavor profiles, but we make it in bulk, link patties, um, whatever shape or size you want. Foot long ropes, yeah. So, I mean, we're known for doing some proprietary sizes and flavors for restaurants if there's enough volume. So, we like to, to cater when we can. And so, you're, you're in both restaurants and retail? We are, right? yeah. You can find us in restaurants like Snooze, La Peep, um, uh, Original Pancake House, Atomic Cowboy, uh, all kinds of pizza chains, garlic knot, sexy pizza. Um, and then even just the small mom and pop places too. And then from a retail perspective, King Super, Safeway, City Market, um, Lever's Locavore if you're over in the Highlands area. Spinelli's Market. Yeah, Spinelli's Market. Um, and then, customers. yeah, they're definitely one of our longest. Um, and then, you know, as COVID happened and companies adjusted, we actually adapted as well and developed some pre-curated boxes that we now sell online. And, you know, being a 95-year-old company, even having an e-commerce shop was pretty innovative for us, which is really cool. Um, and so that's, yeah, it's different. It's been super fun, you know, just letting customers shop online, whatever they want, and then we deliver it free to their home if they're within a certain area. So we were just kind of help supporting all of our customers. If they didn't want to go to the grocery store, we would be able to deliver it to them for free so and okay. that's something that we're still doing and going to continue to do and create new boxes holiday boxes themed boxes what would be an like example that. of a box what would be in the box so we have a family heirloom box um, right. and it's all different varieties of italian sausage we've got um, our bulk italian italian patties pre-cooked meatballs um, pre-cooked sliced italian so you can make pizza which is really fun and then um, long italian strips as well we also have a rise and shine box which is all breakfast sausage which is my personal favorite um, breakfast links bulk patty and then a backyard box which is actually one of our most popular and that's anywhere from beer brats to bratwurst hatch green chili um, and hot polish as well so well, what is your number one selling item well, that's a tough one. I think it's chorizo. Well, chorizo, really? as uh -huh, far as which just is a bowl of chorizo, we sell a ton of chorizo, a ton of breakfast sausage, and an Italian. So those three right there are our top sellers. And do you, do you sell more to restaurants or in retail? Oh, more to restaurants. More to restaurants. Really? Mm -hmm. Cisco, Shamrock, U.S. Foods, those kind of food yeah. services. We're in thousands of restaurants, like a lot of them that we don't even know that they're... Mm. They're selling us. All right, it smells real good. What'd you bring yeah. me to eat this morning? So this today week? we brought bratwurst, um, as well as our Italian sausage, which is obviously our bread and butter. But and Steve, was, if you want to go reading, through, uh, you use there's mm. no nitrates, no preservatives, all yeah. natural. No bowl, is what we like to say. What is it? No bowl. No bowl. <laughs> so it's just pork shoulder, salt, and spices. That's it. The main, the main flavor profile in our Italian sausage is going to be um, is a fennel, and we actually still crack our fennel with a coffee grinder. Wow! Like the like back a in the day. Hundred year old coffee grinder. That yeah. My, you know, my grand, great grandparents used to use. It's pretty cool. S same recipes. Yep. Person. Same recipe on the Italian. Now we've tweaked some of the other ones, but most of the recipes, um, as far as that goes, I came up with like the chorizo. Most of our breakfast sausages, which we have about four or five different flavor profiles. Um, 
those are all um, I came up with. Are you doing anything special for the 95th? Well, we're having a little birthday party. Yeah, we uh, we were gonna we were gonna have a big party and invite a bunch of customers and everything, but because yeah. of COVID, we're gonna we're, we'll wait till the hundredth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you already have ideas for the hundredth. You'll we'll have a big party. We want to go to. I want to go to Italy. <laughs> Take all the employees to Italy. Then that's Why not? Fun. Why not? Like Let's just go idea. back to the heritage. Why not? Right. I think Sounds we can talk. Great to me. I think well, we can talk around. Melody into it. Melody is Steve's sister. So. Melody's my sister. We're partners. I brought her on about a year after I, um, I bought well, bought it out for my grandfather. Yeah. So they're the help. fourth generation. Started taking off, and, and I needed help. She was traveling so much, and she had two kids, and her husband was like, "Make it, him. You know, he was working too, and. She's like, I don't want to do this anymore. They come work for me, so that worked out, and she uh, she pretty much runs the show. <laughs> Where are you located these days? Where are you making these sauces? Well, we started out at 3327 Tihon in Old North Denver, and about four and a half years ago, we moved over to our new location, which is uh, 3800 Dahlia, right off Park Hill. Hill. Right How many the golf employees do you have these days? 20. 20, okay. including our production staff. So we've got about seven up front that run the front office, and then the rest of the teams in the back producing daily. And are you only in Colorado, or can people get it? So you can find us in restaurants outside of Colorado. We also ship our curated boxes outside of Colorado. But from a retail perspective, since we just serve fresh, not frozen sausage, we keep it regional. So we're only in Colorado. We're in about 10 different states with our product. Oh, OK. Yeah. And what's the website? PolidorySausage.com. I guess that's not really a phone number. You don't want people calling in order. <laughs> I mean, you can, but I don't know if we'll answer. <laughs> this, this looks like yes, so this is right the Italian. There. Yeah, this I'm going to go I'm in with you. To start my day. Cheers. 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 Pleasure to oh. meet you. Oh, <laughs> thanks for coming in. Thank you for having yep. us, guys. Uh, we'll see you today at 1130-ish. We have uh, the Donut Club on West for lunch. Don't ask, ask why I'm having sausage in the morning <laughs> and donuts in the afternoon. I kind of screwed up, I think, how I you did that. You do what you want. It's